Welcome back, Western Slope. I'm now joined by Emily Shockley with School District 51. Thank you so much for stopping by the studio today. Absolutely. Thanks for having me. Yeah, it's always a pleasure. Um, so we're talking about something exciting, another mm -hmm. open house, uh, Fruita Monument High School. Yeah, so Fruita Monument High School got some great renovations over the past year and they're ready to show them off from mm -hmm. 5 to 6 p.m. on Wednesday, January 22nd. Now this is exciting for students. Talk to, talk to me a little bit about what these renovations are. Sure. So there's a new security vestibule, so that means that everyone who comes to visit the school is going to have to check in before they get into the rest of the building. Mm -hmm. It's just a standard protocol for safety these days. Um, the area that was remodeled used to be a courtyard and that's been enclosed for safety reasons um, and so the administrative offices were all relocated during that renovation and now they're in a, a better setting so you don't have to go from one end of the courtyard to the next to try to figure out which office you're going to uh, and also we were able to expand the cafeteria so there's a lot more seating and nice. it's kind of an open concept so it, it kind of pushes into the hallway and uh, the corridor has been remodeled so it's a little bit easier to get from uh, place to place within the school that north-south corridor is a little easier to navigate now. Perfect. Now how did all of this get paid for? This is a big deal for students mm -hmm. there. Yeah, um, it is something that when we passed the 2017 bond measure all of the high schools were getting roughly five to six million dollars for maintenance um, but Frida was able to do this project on top of that because they um, were able to get a best grant for the Orchard Mason Middle School project. So that freed up another 14 million within the bond measure funding. Um, so about 8 million of that is going to Fruita Monument and then um, some other funding went to Central for the STEM edition in the outdoor classroom. Um, and then we were able to, uh, to make this uh, a little bigger than, than maybe we were kind of hoping to do a little something at first, but we were able to do something yeah. a little nicer for them. Awesome. Now, um, this is exciting for the school district, exciting <laughs> for the students, and they're having a ribbon cutting Wednesday morning. Yep, yep. Um, they are having a ribbon cutting uh, at the school that morning, and then at night, all the public people can come from five to six and check it out. Uh, we'll have some people there to answer questions if someone has a question about the design or about the construction or even about the funding. Um, there'll be some food there, so if you're hungry, you can <laughs> come get some cookies and snacks and um, just kind of check it out and see how it looks on the inside. It looks different from the outside too because they have yeah. a new pickup drop-off area, but it, the really impressive stuff is inside. Really exciting for students. Now where can people find mm -hmm. more information? Sure, you can go to d51schools.org and we always have stuff on our social media channels, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. So look for everything there. Perfect. So many renovations coming to District yes. 51 this year. <laughs> Thank you so much, Emily, for stopping yeah. by and talking about it. And we're going to have more information on this available on westernslopenow.com.